fire this morning. Hi everyone and welcome to this week in the cabin, back in the cabin properly now. I have got the dehumidifier running this morning just to clear the windows. I, for I wanted to say and I forgot, not last week but the week before, I talked about my still life little series and I am really happy here. I had another painting in this series that was really giving me problem. I can only describe it as hitting rock bottom with it. Oh, it just, when you get to that point, no, nothing's working and I, my tendency is just to, in my frustration, wipe it out. And this is what I did here with white paint. I just wiped out. I turned around to do something, turned back, and lo and behold, it transformed, it morphed into a white chair. So happy days. It's often for me at that lowest point when I'm just prepared to walk away from it that I do something, I, put, I just put something to it and I can find a way forward. So I've got some more work to be done around here. That's finished, but that I will bring in for a little bit more work. Finished up here. I, I think I'm more or less there on that one. And I, I'm still feeling, so it's the same thing with this one. And maybe that's what it is on that side as well. Quite often it's just too mid-tone again. I've got the scent, this centre one has got a little bit more black. Um, there's something just a little bit more defined in there. I don't know where to focus. It's too undefined, maybe. So I'll give that some thought and I can leave them here just to have a ponder. Um, as I promised last week, what I really want to do, oh, in between, I want to set up on my table I've got some, I'll grab it. This is, I gave up with the wacky glasses because, well, I haven't given up with them. They will be good for screen, using the computer screen. I don't actually like the blue lens. And this is the last packet I have in France. I've always had a habit of picking up in the supermarket with these pouches. 180 gram, it's quite nice, it's got a little bit of tooth, you get a pack of 12 and I've always enjoyed them. So this is what's left, this is just what's left now. So I just saw this morning, if I just put a couple down and take my garage that I managed to home and I have got some water I bought up I don't know if you can I hope you can see I bought up a selection of woodies these things really are great make sure if you get the woodies oh I haven't got it up here so in the house I've got the right pencil sharpener for the woodies uh, let's use a sharp knife. That's critical. You need to be able to keep them pretty sharpened up. If I approach this in the same way that I would approach working with my acrylics, just putting a colour down, putting a wash down. If I, if I just put down the brown, I'm not mix, haven't mixed with anything. So I can wash that gouache. Let's just get myself a bit more warm. Okay. Uh, 
let's go in, let's drop in an ink. What have I got? Carbon black. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. Be careful with your ink. Oh. going to drop some ink down. I could take my paper down that would be a good idea you can you can mask up i'm often asked who i watch on youtube louise fletcher i bet loads of you follow louise fletcher she's lovely fantastic beautiful art i've seen her mask up so you would take one sheet Let's do it now, I'll move those. So if I take a sheet, how big do I? So think about how big you want the piece to be. I'll just do that. And that. This is burnt umber, mixing burnt umber with yellow ochre. So this is the gouache, I can get that on the plate, I can get that quite wet. I could go in with a neat application. So if you have your collage sketchbook or paper, you could put that straight in. So that's actually what I'm going to do. So if I let those dry and then I'll go back in and see what I might like to do with them. So I can let that dry, no waste.
everything's very wet um, and I've had a dabble over there this morning it's lunchtime the same lovely viewer that asked about who I watch on YouTube also asked <laughs> because I'm always excited about lunch what is my lunch so I'll show you what I have more or less every day for lunch I took a photo so that's on the abstract side and then what I thought I'd also do I'll do a pen I thought if I do a pen drawing and use the gouache as I used it in Cadiz. I'll demo that probably tomorrow morning. Oh, my little thingies are frozen now. So warm up a bit for tomorrow. Morning, everyone. I thought I'd try and film over here so I can get a bit of heat from the heater. Yesterday, I got completely carried away with, with the, just a general abstract application. Th this is not as finely ground. That's why gouache gives you that dry, matte, very opaque finish. I thought I had a dig around last night. I have got a, an A5 pad, 300 GSM, cold pressed, acid free. So on there, I'm gonna have a little experiment this morning. This is a, a block of watercolor paper, 12 sheets on a block, acid free. No stretching required when you use these blocks. So basically stretching watercolour paper is wetting the paper. You use gummed tape, or that's how I was taught, to smooth it out, fix it down. When it dries, it is far less likely to buckle. That's the pencil sharpener for the stubbies, for the woodies. A couage. Oh, a new tube. These are just the cheap Dale Rowney. So, stronger are from the gouache. Straight out of the tube. If I, that's a pen, if I write down, that's the goo, that's the water, goo water go water so again the goo is the stronger color straight from the tube that is lighter that watercolor so if i pull down the goo in the burnt umber So the watercolour, it really is a wash, but I mean if I keep going on that gouache, I can shift it and I can make it more washy and I can get an effect from it, but they're quite different. Brands, different brands would obviously differ. Right, the goo in the yellow ochre. Watercolour. Did I do that the right way round? Because to my mind, that doesn't look like watercolour. That looks more like the goo. <laughs> oh gosh. Right, I'm just going to have to be certain here. Yeah, I am right. That was the goo. So how funny is that, that the gouache is more watery in yellow ochre And the watercolour. 
this just really surprised me. I I don't know very much about gouache other than when I've been traveling and I've had to use them and I've only ever used them neat without very much water, if any. So that's that little experiment. Let that dry. The blues in my little set, I had an ultramarine and a cobalt blue. There's a tiny bit left on here. And <laughs> that excites me so much. <laughs> if that was a piece of crusty acrylic, I'd be peeling it off. So I absolutely love that, that I could get that, I could get that to come back to life. Stick a bit of yellow ochre in there. And then wash. So, if you wet your brush and it's clean and you want to remove colour, this was the technique I was taught for lifting, lifting colour where you don't want it. Could add in a bit more pen work. Stopping here then, uh, you know, it's just a little play. It's a way of just showing the versatility of these things. We'll see how that dries. Um, tempted. Oh, look, have a little scratch around. So it really is, to me, is the beauty of both worlds, acrylic and watercolour. The reason I gave up with watercolours was because I wanted a powerful hit of opacity and colour and um, oh, <laughs> I'm excited. What you can achieve 
with these are such inexpensive things to play with morning oh <laughs> having said when we came back from cadiz it's not chilly it is chilly it's got very chilly let's have a look oops yeah it's dried quite nicely it has the matte it has that matte quality about it i could oh and i think i should i could gloss that i'll gloss that this morning and see and see what comes i thought because i jump around with different things if you've been following you will remember you will remember that big sheet that i had back in the summer and all the little pieces that i had to work on every now and then i go back to things and in my desperation to hang near the heater with the smalls i thought right this is an opportunity yesterday afternoon to crack on and get some some of those finished up properly to have as smalls so i abandon things but i always come back i do come back to everything eventually and if you've got plenty going on i you know i don't have um i don't think there's a problem with that so i'm really pleased i absolutely love that i love that the darker the introduction of the darker blue in there and that little one that's as far as i've got at the moment i've got five in that little set i've got some more frames to fill so and there's plenty more in that part it's hard to see because the light's reflecting but i hung in with my smalls and i've now got nine i'm really so thrilled with these just from that large piece of paperwork I'm so pleased. I'm calling this series Blue Lagoon. I love them. These guys, I couldn't resist. I went in with the white acrylic over the top and I'm not finished yet, but I'll dig out and see if I've got some small frames or small mounts and they will, they can join the smalls collection. Andrea, Andrea also asked me about my favourite artist and I thought long and hard about it and way back when Craig and I first shared a flat, I think the, one of the first poster, large framed poster pieces of art was a Matisse, the blue nude. I do adore Matisse but I can't tie myself down to one artist because I like, I like all genres of art from old masters to modern. There's so much that I absolutely love that I couldn't tie myself down to one artist. There's just many, Andrea. I did a video where I pulled out some of my art books from the shelves. I'm, I'm still fired up about the gouache and some watercolor techniques. I've looked high and low for a really old draftsman's technical pen that you can get a nice straight line if you load it and I can't find it anywhere so I've got that on order so next week fingers crossed that arrives and I can have a little go with that you can use them for masking tape and they just give you a nice straight line I think if the cold weather keeps up together with the rain that's forecast. I might set up my kitchen table at the end and work on, I really do need to work on some cards. That's in my mind. Gouache won't be for everyone, I know. I will show you before I say goodbye. <laughs> oh, I got frustrated yesterday. I got frustrated and I just put in a bit of, <laughs> I put in a bit of rough black in my frustration to try and get this painting forward, to try and get this painting somewhere more than it is now. So I will work that this morning and hopefully by next week it might be somewhere. Have a wonderful week, keep warm, keep playing, keep experimenting, 
and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching everyone and thank you for all the lovely comments and all the lovely encouragement and support. It really means a lot and I'm very appreciative. Thanks then guys, see you next week.